What's up, everybody? How we doing today? Waiting for the people to come in. Javier's here, Pack Rat. What's up, everybody? How we doing? We got a tier one break going on today. That ought to be fun. I haven't watched any of it yet, but tier one is typically pretty fun. And this year for the price, I think it's pretty... I think it's a pretty good deal for the price. Getting three hits. I'm just kind of looking at it from a, a dollar per hit. You know, there's only three cards per box. Let's check it out. Let's dive deep into it. So you get two guaranteed autos, one relic. So as far as hits go, we're less, well less than $100 a hit. And there's good hits as well. We'll just check out the odds on here. A lot of people like to look at the odds. Bronze ink, silver ink, bat relic, perfect contact, auto, bat relic, platinum, parallel, one out of 2,000, good lord. Tier one limited lumber, uniform button. Oh. So we're doing four of those today. Greenskeeper, what's happening? Let me drop a link for you guys before we get started here. Check me out on Twitch. There it is. Go over there, hang out. Cool breeze, I see you there, buddy. I see ya. Swing over there. Where do, what are we at? We're at 98 followers. Two away from 100. Are you gonna be the one? Are you gonna be number 100? Mark, how's it going? Lobo Loco in the house. Tier one rhymes with fun. It does. This is going to be a fun one. So we're doing those four boxes to tier one. We're doing the high, mid, and low. We got a box of Diamond Kings with our two guaranteed hits. We've got a Heritage. The 2021 Heritage. Making sure everybody gets some cards. Because, you know, those tier one boxes, like I said three cards that's all you get so we want to spread it out a bit and we're gonna add some bowman spreading the teams out even more making sure everybody gets in on the action that's important around these parts I want everybody to be involved a 
Optimize your PC. Thank you. No, thank you. Another one? No. What else we got? Jeff's here. Jeff's here. Happy tier one day. Instead of searching Target or Bowman Mega Boxes, are there Bowman Mega Boxes out today? What happened? Are there Bow Bowman Mega Boxes? I'm not going out hunting. I'm just not going to do it. I'll buy them on the secondary market if I have to. That's what I've been doing. I just don't want to deal with it. Deal with the people. Deal with the hassle. When do, yeah, I don't know. Usually it's like a week or two after. So, 6.59, we're gonna get rolling. Make sure everything is nice and straight. There we go. Make sure to slap that like on your way in. Seven o'clock and all as well. The roll for the randomization. Five. Let me see what we've got here. Let's make sure this is pulled up and we will do a display cap. We're gonna get these names out of order. Give them a quick random. Head over to the teams three times. One, two, and three. Yankees on top today. Who's gonna get the Yankees? They all say. We're about to find out with the buy-ins now. One, two, three, four, and five. Greg, on top with the Yanks. Let's get these in A to Z. And put like that. And turn the volume down just a touch. And I'll read your teams off for you. We've got on top Diamondbacks, Trevor G, Braves, Josh A, Orioles, Derek W, Red Sox, Skyler M, Cubs, Joshua M, White Sox, Jake S, Reds, Crystal L, Indians, Robert H, Rockies, Lorio, Tigers, Mitch S, Astros, Mark H, Royals, Vasily. Angels, Eric S, Dodgers, Leon W, Marlins, Brandon M, Brewers, Adrian L, Twins, Ernesto F, Mets, Kyle K, Yankees, Greg G, Greg T, sorry, Athletics, Kristen E, Phillies, Jason I, Pirates, Hudson W, Padres, Matthew J, Giants, Jack H, Mariners, Michael M, Cardinals, Dave F, Rays, Daniel B, Rangers, Chris B, Jays, Dennis B, and Nationals, Robert B. Look at this, four last names of B right at the end there. Good luck, Greenskeeper with the soup. Feeling good about tonight? Slap it a like, everyone. I agree. Thank you for the super chat. That's going to bring you good luck. I'm going to drop the link for you. As always, you can get the link on the homepage, strikerbreaks.com. That's also where you buy into the breaks. But if you really want to be able to get into the breaks, your best odds are to become a slammer. Right here. Pin it to the top. You get an email every time I list a break. So you can go get in on it. If you so choose. I'll just print my copy off here real quick and we'll be ready to roll. Anybody can watch baseball. It's a big night for baseball. Big night, lots of games. 14 games, I think. Tons, like almost everybody's playing. So I've got the MLB channel up here. We can switch back and forth. We'll find a juicy game. A nice high scoring. Lots of, lots of home run type situation you know maybe something happens to the starting pitcher maybe they just don't have it with all these games let's make let's make a little let's just see what people think and then you can remember your guess later so what do you think the high score is going to be tonight as far as 
team that scores runs. Who's it going to be and how many runs are they going to score? Everybody's playing, almost. Um, I'll give you a little idea. Just give you a little hint of what's going on as far as run total. So we've got a delayed game in Boston, in Baltimore. It's Red Sox at Orioles. That's an eight and a half total. Uh, they're going to score a lot of runs there. Washington at New York. They're going to score a lot of runs there, probably. But it is Patrick Corbin pitching and James Tyone. So they're two okay pitchers. Good, goodish pitchers. It's probably not going to be the Brewers, Marlins. Um, I don't, for some reason, that's a six and a half total game. Uh, and then in Cleveland, there's some storming. So there's a high humidity. There's a chance that this might. Anytime you have a, a high humidity, you're looking at a, a high scoring game, most likely. The ball just flies. So Cleveland, it's an eight total. We got Cincinnati at Cle Cleveland. This one might be a big one. Minnesota at Detroit. Now, Detroit's not really a high run scoring park, but high humidity. Shoemaker at Scooble. Scooble's been pretty bad. Shoemaker's been pretty bad. And the Twins can score runs. We got Diamondbacks at Mets. Two decent pitchers. Not going to be high scoring, probably. Philly at Atlanta. We got Eflin on the mound and Morton. Eight run total. But Seattle at Texas is an eight and a half run total. Flexen at Fulte. Pretty even. Minus 122 for Texas. And White Sox at Royals. That's a high scoring game potentially. Eight and a half run total. We got the wind blowing out, 67 miles per hour. Decent weather. We might get the top scoring game from the, uh, this, this one right here. Rodon at Keller. Rodon's been good. So it might be the White Sox. We got a nice lineup. Anderson, Eaton, Moncada, Abreu. Everybody's boy, Mercedes. Andrew Vaughn, Madrigal. And then Blue Jays at Astros, nine run total. It's the highest total on the board. Ross Stripling at Urquidy. And we got a pretty juicy lineup from the Blue Jays, too, for both teams. So we might get the top scoring game there. And everything else is pretty low scoring, other than the Dodgers at the Angels. Urias at Canning. Eight and a half run total. What are we thinking? Mark says Dodgers with 12, Blue Jays with 10. This might be the kind of night, since there's so many games, that we might get like a 14-run game. Do I give slammer shout-outs? Absolutely. If you're a slammer and you want a shout-out, just put it in the chat. If I miss it, oh well, I'm sorry. I try to check the chat out, though, as much as I can. <clears throat> Billy! Um, let's see, what else we got going? Okay, are we ready? 706, I think we're ready. We got 61 people in here, 25 likes. So there's four, five, seven total boxes. We're gonna start nice and easy and we'll work our way up. I'm gonna mix a tier one in here and there. This is the first box of Diamond Kings, regular box that we've done this year. I wanted to put something a little less expensive into this break so we could spread those teams around a little bit because the tier one, you know, there's four boxes, three total hits. So we got 12 hits total out of there. Um, and, it, you know, if we were just to do tier one, you're not guaranteed to get any cards or anything. And, I mean, we can't have that. Can't have that. Slammers, Pogs, yeah. Grand Slammers. Grand Slammers. Dodgers offense goes off tonight. That's what people that's what people think. That's what they thought. That's what that, that's where their heads at. A lot of people think that. So out of this stuff, we're looking for our two guaranteed hits, one auto, one relic most likely. Hope hopefully we can get like the press the press pass or whatever that's called. Artist proof, that's what it's called. The press pass. I like the I like the Padres tonight. Even though it's a pretty low, low total. We're looking at a seven and a half run total. It's in San Francisco, that's why. It's not the best hitting ballpark in San Fran. Seven and a half run total. But we got Snell on the mound. And it's a Snell's a minus 144 favorite. The wind's blowing out in San Diego a little bit, 60 miles per hour. So we got eleven or in uh, San Francisco, I mean. We got eleven mile per hour wind, so that's it's going to count for something. It's just tough to score a ton of runs there. 
All right, we got hit number one. What's it gonna be? Good luck, everybody. Oh, okay, it's just a frame. It was an upside down frame or a backwards frame. Joey Votto. Missed the team roll. There should be uh, the link still on the board there. Or you can check it out at strikerbreaks.com on the homepage. If you missed your teams, you can always get back in, no problem. You can always check it out. What's everybody else think? We got we got Blue Jays and Dodgers. That, that's it. As far as top run scoring team of the night. Come on, guys, pick a team. Do a, do a little thinking. I want to see what you think. Because that's how you win all the money. Satchel. I can tell you one thing. As long as it's not... <laughs> Where is it? There's like a bunch of teams. As long as, as long as it's not San Francisco, Colorado, Milwaukee, Philly, Baltimore, Miami. Actually, it could be Miami. Uh, Arizona. Tampa Bay to an extent. As long as it's not any of those teams. Wood frame coming up. I don't know. You don't get the wood frame. This isn't the FOTL. So no wood frames out of here. Get the Apostle Rus Rookie. Is this going to be a hit? It's a flipped around card or is it another frame? It's another frame. It's the plum frame. Jesus Sanchez going to Miami. If you guys haven't checked me out on Twitch, you got to do it. I'm two subscribers away from 100. That's the goal. We're already at the goal. We're right there. You can be famous. We're two away. Click the link. Follow. Your name will pop up on the board, and we'll find out who number 100 is and give them a healthy little shout-out. Derek, I like the cards, too, tonight. I'm a sucker for the Cardinals. I just love that Goldschmidt, Arenado, back-to-back. -back. And I like the Young and O'Neal. I like the team. I like Carlson. They haven't scored a ton of runs. I think they're due for an explosion one of these nights. But the Cardinals tonight, it's a 7.5 total, but that's because Flaherty's on the, on the mound going against the Rockies on the road. It's nice weather there. They're only projected to score about 4.5 runs. But I like them because it's Gomber against a bunch of righties. A, a whole lineup full of righties. Two switch hitters, but same thing. Edmund, Carlson, Goldschmidt, Arenado, De Jong, O'Neal, Bader, and Kisner. There's no reason they can't tear up Gomber. I don't see one reason. Unless the... And this brings me to my next point. Unless the umpires screw everything up. I am so sick of umpires. I'm so sick of them. I watch so many games, and I'm just like... Everybody can see that that's a ball. Or a strike, or whatever. I'm more concerned about like hurting the 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 hitters, not getting calls. But we'll continue on that rant later. We got a hit. This is the legit hit number one. It is Sam Huff, the dual relic. Sam Huff, ladies and gentlemen, going to Texas. Chris B. Let's see. No, it still says 98. Maybe I need to refresh. How thick is this one? 75 point? Oh. Mm, yeah. Yeah. 101 followers. We're there. Now it's time to set a new goal. <laughs> 1,000 followers. Now we got to go in increments. But we got, we got to a key point. Thank you, everybody. And who was the let? It was S.G. Smalls was number 100. Played 617. You were number 101. Alec Bohm, rookie. So we're there. FOTL, I know. The difference between FOTL and regular looks to be a lot. 
but we'll have, we'll have to see. I can't, I can't judge it after one box. I got two boxes of this stuff total, so we'll do one more box and a break up coming, and we'll you know we'll get a, a, a still a small sample size, but I mean all we needed to see was that one box of FOTL to be like. Actually, the, even after the first one, I didn't believe it. So we did need two. Here we go. We got something flipped around. It's another frame. It's Bobby Delbeck, the rookie. The gray frame. Going to Skyler. Artist palette, Kyle Lewis. Kurt, no problem, man. Loving it. I love these. So much fun. I can't wait to see the tier one. Greenskeeper says, all the FOTL patches you've seen are wild. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They are awesome. If you are if you want to pad your, your collection, or if you're starting a collection out and you're looking to get some relics, some ch the cheapest ones you can get, basically, you got to make a choice now. Because we're going we're gonna to see in this Tier 1, for the price... I fear that tier one will be $300 a box before we know it. And every time I say this, it comes true. Just remember this. You can get it for $220 right now. But, well, I, I want to open it up and see before I make a, a firm statement. But this might be our auto. It is Tyler Stevenson going to Cincinnati. Yeah, I don't know about the auto up there going that way, though. That's wild. Kind of weird. Going to Crystal. Congratulations, you got a rookie auto. Tyler Stevenson, followed by Pete Rose. Last pack. Floyd fan, what's up? Joseph likes Diamond Kings, so do I. I like them for about a month, and then I'm over it. And then, I mean, I'm like moved on. I've already moved on. But that's me with everything. The only thing that kind of stays, legacy lithographs. The only thing that stays for me and my and my, I'll always be fun having fun opening it is Bowman and Chrome, Topps Chrome, and Bowman. Those ones are all, they never get old. I suppose if you opened a hundred cases, it would get old. But all right, let's do it. Let's check out a tier one. We'll do all of the good luck charms. The double sealing sweep. And the clue bot sliding over top for the initial icing. And then we're adding another layer of luck with Clayton Claus. Why not give it a bill hook? Remove him from his sheath. Whooshing, whooshing. These are light boxes. How do we get into here? All right, you know what, Bill's not gonna, Bill's not gonna cut it. There's no lip to open. So we'll save him for one of the other boxes. We got a Bowman, got a Bowman coming up, that'll do. You got the Yelich Quad Relic, number to 25. Yeah, that's a sick one. Yelich Quad, yeah. Okay, here it is. A crinkly little pack. Look at that crinkled up pack. Straighten around a little bit. These packs remind me of the Bowman first edition packs. They're the same crimping design. They feel the same. Let's turn this around backwards. Get the blocker. <laughs> yeah, back to being Bill today since we're not in a high roller. William. He goes by William when we're high rolling. Well, you may have seen the top one. It was impossible to cover it up perfectly. But that next one looks nasty. <laughs> we might have got a banger in this first box. We'll find out. All right, card number one is Trevor Bauer, 223 of 300. See, that's the thing. The, when I was early into collecting, going to the Reds, by the way, Crystal, you're getting another card, lucky you. When I was early into collecting, I was not all about 
getting the guaranteed hit, just having like one or two or three cards in a box. I preferred getting like a whole box of series one so I could just have the joy of opening like a whole bunch of packs and you know, getting a whole bunch of different cards. And I imagine that most people that are earlier back into the into the game kind of feel the same way. You know, they're looking to get a bunch of cards. And since you only get three, it's it can be tough. But the more the more I know, the more I learn about collecting and see the different releases and judge them on a dollar per basis, the more these boxes like this, tier one, when they're affordable, because it's 220 bucks now, but just wait, it'll be 250 and maybe more after that. Um, it, they just, you're getting more of it. Like, okay, that's a bad Trevor Bauer auto, on-card auto, as opposed to like a sticker you're getting a lot of times out of flagship or other products. Here we go, card number two. It's a Marlin. It's a six, though. This is the one I thought. I thought that was possibly a one on one because I saw the, the bottom there. Six, though, to 300. On card auto. See what I mean? Lower numbered. Going to the Marlins. B Mac. Congratulations. Are we going to see six, though? You know that the Marlins have the highest run differential in the AL, I think. Isn't that insane? Here's our relic. It's a twin. Is it Astudio? Please be Astudio. Brent Rooker to 299. Nice looking cards, aren't they? I love the gold. The designs are somewhat minimalist. You know, it doesn't have the borders, but it's kind of faded in. I, On the fancy cards like this, in my opinion, borders are not really necessary. I like a border on a base card, but I also like them to mix it up from time to time. I don't want, like, every single card to have a border every year. I want maybe two out of three years for the cards to have borders. The flagship kind of stuff, even, like, the Bowman. 130. Are we at 130 with this one? We're bigger yet. How about 168? We'll try that. Perfection. Snug. Brent Rooker. Going to the twins. Ernesto. Congratulations, Ernesto. On the hit. On the stage. Let's do a box of heritage. Maybe we can get a real one out of here. Yankees one, Nats zero. Well, it's time to switch over to the game center. And we're gonna go on the game that most people would wanna see, Nationals, Yankees. Look at this, Starling Marte. Another Miami. Can take a sunrise. I'm gonna have to keep that on mute. Sometimes the commercials like to play through even though you mute it. And the commercials are way louder. And it really bothers me. I know we talked about that before, but like you're watching a game and the volume is perfect, and then all of a sudden just blasting commercials. We'll do the quick rip. Joseph's had great luck with Heritage. Let's keep, let's keep that vibe going. I think we've had pretty good luck here too. We've gotten some real one autos. Gotten some chromes and numbered cards, numbered parallels. Action variations, quite a few action variations. We got the Joe Adele action. Hank Aaron on the back. Tyone on the mound. Minnesota's up 1-0 at Detroit. Something strange going on with the feed.
There's a trout in action. Look at this. Something spectacular here, I think. Let's see what this is all about. Jeff, let's get those supers going. Jeff says, let's get 20 super chats tonight. Here's two of 20. That's a great idea, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you for that. If you guys want to get in on the supers, hit that little dollar sign. I'd appreciate it. Maybe that'll give us good luck for this hit. Red. Red something. Michael Brantley. How rare is this? Oh, really? To 372. Must be a new addition this year. The red. You know, we haven't really opened a ton of this. We haven't even opened a case total of this. I think maybe, what, six boxes total? So it's not like I'm seeing all of the cards. Brantley. Going to Mark. Congratulations, Mark. That's a pretty cool card. I like the, I like the chromes out of Heritage, definitely. And what do we have here? We just had a home run. Josh Bell. Josh Bell with a dong. Josh Bell. Oh, yeah, we got it going. Floyd Fan with the five. Hey, Striker, sending you a package soon. Found an 84 Opeachy Alan Trammell, my LCS. Is heading your way. Looking forward to it, my friend. Thank you. 84 Opeachy. And Leon getting in on the action, too. Detroit Tigers, that's what's up. Yes, another break with Striker. Let's go. Loving it. Thank you, guys. Getting on. Man, we're doing good. So, four out of 20. Got a French text. Already, this box has been good. This stuff is, I like it this year. I, I like this year's twice as twice as much as last year's. French text, Sunny Gray. And you may ask, how the heck did you know that, Striker? A lot of people do ask that. Well, it's got a whiter background than the rest. See, it's kind of kind of a tan color. And this one's white, so you know right away something's going on. And then you've got French text. Right there and right there. And people are gonna wonder, why is Sonny Gray up on the stage? It's only natural to ask questions like that. Mark says, I pulled a Vladdy Red Refractor out of a Heritage Mega, really. Joseph, you're the man, thank you. So that was fun yesterday, having Fuzzy swing by, wasn't it? What an honor. And that's about it for stack number one. Let's get into stack number two. Forgot. I'm doing it like this. Got all the cards from yesterday's break packed and shipped. I stayed up last night until my eyes were like, I couldn't even open them anymore. Not, not joking. Like my eyes were just so, I could barely keep them open and I had like a stack like, like that left to go. I'm like, just power through it. But I got them out. So they're heading your way. The fuzz, yeah. Yeah, he does like baseball highlights every day. Just talks about all the main stories and it's good stuff. Plays MLB The Show, which I wish I could do. Kalnick coming up soon, I hope so. I don't know if we'll see it. I think it's too late for Series 2. I think it's too late. So update maybe. We got They got to save people for update anyway. You never know who may or may not show up. 
All right, so there's nothing thick in this in this pile, in this stack right here. Schwarber just got a walk, got a man on first. Got a Mount Castle New Age Performers. I like that one. Where do you guys think Pujols is going to go? Because you know he's not just going to retire. He's going to... I think he wants to play for a couple more years. He strikes me as a man who wants who wants every statistic he can get. Another Mount Castle. I mean, why stop? If someone will have you towards the end of your career and you're just trying to pad those stats to be like the greatest of all time. Why not? A ba 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 boom. Stack number three. I like the puzzles too. I want to put them all together. I, I did the, you remember the old uh, Roberto Clemente that you could do from, I don't even remember what year it was. It's probably like 89 or something. I did that with my daughter the other day and then we framed it. So we've got the whole puzzle completed. I remember I could never get all the pieces together when I was a kid, but somehow we got them all together now. <laughs> Baltimore. That, he would probably like to go there because he could get some easy dongs. Yeah, there will be some AL team. I could see him going to like Miami or something too, some really bum team. Look at this, Jan Gomes with a two-run shot off of Tyone. Three to one Nats. Boone, not happy. Let's see if they show it again. Okay, I guess not. Oh, here it is. Slow mo. Boom! Easy. Look at his face. Look at his face. Hold on. Look at Gomes' face. Oh, they showed the wrong angle. He was <laughs> just like. S Mac with the five. Five out of 20. Quarter of the way there. 100 watching, 44 likes. Hit that like button. Thank you, S Mac. Appreciate that. You guys are doing great tonight. We got a real one. Thanks to S Mac, we got a real one. Look at that. David Peterson, the Met. I think he's pitching tonight. Peterson? I think he's pitching tonight. Oh, that one's going to Kyle. Kyle! You got yourself a real one. Mm -mm. I love him. I love him. I've never been privileged enough to get a real one of a player that I collect. But maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll buy a case of the stuff if there's somebody I really want. Or, I, or you could just buy it. I mean, the best way to do it is just to buy the card. Just go on eBay and buy the card. <laughs> Here I am talking like, I'm going to spend thousands of dollars ripping Heritage. Hoping to get a real one of Mount Castle or something. Carlson. I think that would be the one I want, Carlson. And there we have it. Let me get these out of the way. We'll do a couple more boxes of tier one here. And then a Bowman. And then some more tier one. What a day. Oh, happy day. Here we go. Let's get something nasty. Soto's playing today, Alcanon. He's in the lineup today, batting third. He must be struggling in the speed. I mean, he's not, not really like a speed demon anyway, but yeah, he is batting 
third. What did he do so far? 0 for 1. That's what he did. But usually when guys come back like him, it seems like they hit a home run <laughs> or have like a good game because players don't come back till they're ready. And they get lots of time in the cage and stuff before they get back. Josh says, I collect DeGrom and got lucky enough to pull a red and blue auto of his in 2019 Heritage. Diamond Icon's coming out. Try to get a box. Last year I tried and couldn't get one. Okay, number one. Didn't cover it up. I'll cover the rest up, though. It's a Mark Burley to 300. Going to the Sox. That's a thicky. Could probably, I don't know. It's like really close. You don't want to use the thick sleeves unless you have to. Because they're just a little too big. You want to get like the perfect size. And if you slit the corner of these sleeves, oh yeah. See, that fits perfectly into a regular sleeve. And then we go 75 point. We try that out. And it works perfectly. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. So, Jake, you got a Mark Burley auto. Legendary Chicago pitcher. Number two. The autograph is a Texas Ranger. Chris B. with the Nick Solak to 300. Congratulations. Happy Friday, everyone. Billy's feeling fuzzy. Best Bro Studio says, did you know you were the first, my first streamer I have ever watched? I did not know that. What an honor. Thank you for that honor. The last card is a relic of... Mmm. Dustin May, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Leon, it's amazing how expectations and just general feelings towards a player can change so fast in this game. You go from like, oh, Dustin May, one of the best pitchers in the league, young, awesome, can't wait. And now it's just like, whew, hopefully he comes back strong. Leon, the Dustin May to 344. What a unique numbering on that one, 344. go through this Bowman and then we'll finish it up with two more tier one boxes. If that's okay with you, it's okay with me. We're going to get a little Bill Hookery going here. Philly is up six to nothing on the Braves in the first inning, top of the first. I believe we discussed this opening the show. And I told you that there was going to be a team tonight that scores a bunch of runs. And we guessed. Did anybody guess the Phillies? Because it's going to be the Phillies, most likely. I mean, you're talking... Let's just... It's the free game of the day, too, on MLB.tv. So if you want to go to MLB TV, you can watch this game right now. And Charlie Morton... Charlie, Charlie, yikes. Who did all the damage? Who, we got a home run by Herrera. What? And Bohm's got an RBI. It basically was Bohm. We got run scored by Real Muto. Bohm, Segura, Herrera, Hoskins. All kinds of people scoring runs. 
and RBIs, two of them from Segura, one from Bohm. Bohm, the man. Shohei was, he, he didn't go down though. He's still here. Shohei, he's still, he's still fighting. Yeah, but he, the, yeah, Tommy John, I get yeah. Riley Green. It's not like we're, he's done. I'm just saying how people's expectations change immediately. Of course they do. But he's still plenty young. Lee over. Ron Bear in the house. What's up, my man? Asking people very, very respectfully to hit that like button. And if you don't, he's going to change his tone. When Ron Bear changes his tone, people start getting banned for life. And nobody wants to see that. Gross hands. Cubby sent me a fun fact today, and it was, did you know that Gross Hands is actually younger than Austin Martin? And they're like splitting time at shortstop third base in the minors this year. Floyd fan with the two. Is that six? Six out of 20? We're, we're, almost, we're almost there. If the Phillies score, the bullpen will give up more. That's what I'm thinking, my man. How much Phillies action did I have today? Well, that's a good question. I know I have some. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got some Phillies. Oh yeah, I've got many shares of the Phillies today. But the question is how much Who's that dude? Herrera do you have? Because he's the one with the home run and the three RBIs. And Segura. And he's batting eighth, and Segura's batting seventh. Look at this, Mackenzie Gore. Look at this pack. We got double hits in this pack. This might be a good product to buy single packs of at your local card shop. I don't usually suggest that. It's fine at the card shop, some potentially. But I usually don't recommend buying individual packs. But this stuff I've noticed has multiple hits per pack sometimes. So you might get lucky and pull that big, big pack. Mackenzie Gore, the number five overall prospect, nine of 50. Going to Matthew. Congratulations, Matthew. Gold. Gerg with the five. Is that seven out of 20? I know there's a way that you can like set up a little, a little thing where that tells you how many you've got. And I should probably, I, I, I've been working a lot behind the scenes, just trying to become a better, ha having more knowledge of this OBS Streamlabs business. And here's our other parallel, Trent DeVoe to 250. A first, angel, color, purple. Going to Eric. Congratulations, Eric. And Roan Bear getting in with a big boy. $10 super. Let's go. My man. Thank you, Roan Bear. Such, such a great person. Roan Bear. Always here for me. You know, he's always got my back. Just, just the support. It's legendary, you guys. Sky's involved. With another big boy, a pair rolling around on the ground. Thanks, guy. We're, I already lost track. Are we at nine now? We're, all, we're doing great. This is unbelievable. Nine to 20. Jeff's on top of it. Jeff's on top of it. I knew he would be. Phillies, 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 and more Phillies. Two outs, top of the first, man on second and third. They're not even out of the first inning yet. Brett Beatty.
Rob. Where's Rob? Poor Rob watching. Oh no, Rob would love this actually. Watching his Phillies destroy the Braves. We got Josh Tomlin in there. Josh Tomlin, former starter for the Cleveland Indians. Don't know what happened to him, why he kind of fell off. I always remember him being kind of good. Austin Martin. Here's one of the beauties. It's a paper. We got to get the chromes. We didn't get the chromes yesterday, and I was disappointed. So we got to do it today. Robert! We're officially halfway there. Robert with the 299 fist bump. Boom! Thank you, Robert. So what kind of crazy parallel are we gonna get out of this box? What's the best parallel we're gonna get out of here, guys? Cause we've gotten like an average of, I think like six or seven parallels per box. We already have one. What's the best, what's the lowest number? I'm gonna guess the lowest number we get. Oh, we already got that one to 50. Can we beat that? Can we beat a gold? We got two parallels. It's gonna be tough. Let's try for an orange. I'm going to shoot for the moon. We're going to try for an orange here. Orange to 25. The hobby exclusive. Not that hard to pull out of a hobby box. I know what you're thinking. To 25. Not. It's not crazy. Like one out of 694 for a paper orange. We got one out of 463 for a chrome. And then... Uh, one out of 463 for the other kind of chrome. We got an orange shimmer, for one out of 458. We can pull an orange. We can pull an orange. I ordered some more jumbos of this stuff too. Joe Adele, rookie. Floyd fan, getting involved. With the Supa, this Bowman design reminds me of Topps Lineage. I'm not really familiar, but I appreciate the Super. Topps Lineage. Choi. Choi Foist. Reese Hoskins up for the second time in this inning. And the bloodbath is over, ladies and gentlemen. A bloodbath it was. McCutcheon with a hit. Rilmuto with a hit. Bohm with a hit. Segura with a hit. Herrera with a hit. Eflin with a walk. They walk the pitcher. The unforgivable sin walking the pitcher. I never, I can never get over it. What are you doing? You only need two pitches against a pitcher. You really only need one, but... Fastball, breaking ball, fastball, curveball, whatever it is. Fastball, cutter, just throw a strike. We have a speckle. Everybody stop what you're doing and look. He's got a bat in his hand. It's a Yankee. Oswald Peraza. Oswald. The penguin. He looks a little like a penguin. Remember how we were talking about your name determines who you are? His parents chose to name him Oswald. Shock. He looks like a penguin. Who could have ever guessed that would happen? Yankees. Going to Greg. The hits. Uh, to, yeah, that one is, did I even tell you? 246 of 299. So we got our hit to 50. We're looking for a 25er, an orange. Soto up next. Arizona's up two to nothing with the bases loaded right now on the Mets. I think Reese's Pieces are probably the best candy. You know, not, yeah, just like all candy, chocolate included and just regular candy included. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups have a very good argument to make, but Reese's Pieces, 
if you're talking about going to a movie theater, which who's done that in the last year and a half, but Reese's Pieces are the go-to move. I also like peanut M&Ms. The regular M&Ms are okay, but I prefer peanut M&Ms. But I'll eat, see, that's the problem. I'll eat so many peanut M&Ms that it'll like mess me up. <laughs> I love peanut M&Ms. So simple. You know, the classics. We don't need 75 different kinds of candy in the checkout aisle. We need Reese's Pieces and peanut M&Ms. And maybe some things that are just sugary for people. Sugary and sour, like uh, Skittles or like Sour Patch Kids, people like that. So those four things, Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, Reese's Pieces, and Peanut M&Ms. And everybody would be just fine. Jose Salas. The first atomic. Going to BMAC. Peanut butter M&Ms are good, but they're no Reese's Pieces. You know, there's something about the peanut m and it's a little too big. And the peanut butter doesn't taste the same. The peanut butter m and that is. Uh, I like them, and I definitely will eat it. But, you know, we're talking about the best there is. So we got to show a little bit of discernment and establish a gradient. Alcantara, the first paper. Milwaukee's on the board. No, they're not. Miami's on the board. Washington 3-2 to two over the Yankees in the third. Milky Way. Yeah, Milky Way sucks, but, dude, if I had a Milky Way sitting here right now, I'd eat it. You know, who are we kidding? You know, if I'm wanting something sweet and there's a Milky Way sitting here, I'm not going to complain. I mean, initially, I might just be like, I'd rather have a, as far as chocolate bars go, I'd rather have a Hershey's Almond. Butterfingers are really good, too. So, but yeah, and whatchamacallits, very underrated. I think the most underrated candy bar is, a, is the whatchamacallit. Does anybody agree? Morel first, De La Rosa first. Mocha flavored peanut M&Ms. Never tried that, Mark. You're saying mocha flavored peanut M&Ms. Okay, I'm in. Floyd fan with the Supa says, so Nick Maton of the Phillies has a first Bowman in the 2021 set and he might, yeah, likely get his rookie in 21 series too. Good point. I don't know if he'll make series two. Was he in early enough? We got it. I don't know, but either update or series two for sure. It'll be this year. Appreciate the super. And Mitch getting involved too. Guys, we're, I already lost track again. It's impossible to keep track of all of this. I was a PBC guy, but my eyes have recently been open to Reese's Pieces. Mitch. Welcome to the Reese's Pieces Club. It's a glorious place to be, let me tell you. You just got to be careful about how many you buy at once. You don't want to go out and get all crazy and buy like a case of Reese's Pieces. One time I bought a case of, of Reese's, like the two, the two pack, a case of them from Sam's Club. Kept them in the freezer. It was the best year of my life. I want another one. Jose, again, with the first. I used to pull the, uh, the beast mode and pop some Skittles before the streams. Hype me up a bit, get a little sugar rush going. Then I ran out of Skittles. BMAC says, for the peanut M&Ms, the Supa. Thank you. I will, I, you know? I think I might just have to go buy like 
the variety pack that has all kinds of, you know, the peanut M&Ms and everything in there. I need some candy of some sort. I, I, it just it, it keeps me going. Eat some candy at about 11 o'clock at night, and it keeps me going to, like, process cards. Uh, sounds like I'm joking, but I'm not. I need a little bit of candy. Jeff says we're 13 of 20 in the books. We only need seven more. What a legendary experience this has been. Rookie of the Year favorites, Jimenez. Are we still looking for the auto out of here? We are. We're still looking for some big chrome firsts as well. And I'm a little disappointed that we haven't hit them. Sour Skittles be good. I prefer the tropical ones. Jared Kelly, first. Chrome, another Jared Kelly. Greenskeeper, <laughs> adding to the candy fund. Thank you. Also, I'm gonna get, I almost bought a crazy kind of root beer since we were talking about it the other day. I just, I, I've been looking for root beer. This? The different kinds, you know, you go into the gas station and I almost bought this one kind, it was big though. And I didn't want to drink that much root beer at one time. It was a big one, it was like a 28 ounce, it was huge. It's too much root beer without, like I'll drink a big diet one, but too much sugar in the regular ones. Gets the blood sugar acting all crazy. I start twitching, my eye starts twitching. I'm like, uh oh. I think they're gonna have to take my foot. It's, can't drink, can't can't eat that much sugar at once. As we're talking about eating candy, you know. Oh, the blue, we got a blue auto, come on. He's got a bat in his hand. It's a first, it's a twin, it's a Sabato. Big time, Aaron Sabato, 145 of 150, the true blue, purdy, Ernesto. Congratulations. The true blue Sabato, does that ever look good? Man, is that a nice hit. Look at it. Looks pretty centered too. Had some issues on the front. I've seen a lot of issues on these cards though, the, uh, the autos. And the firsts, the chrome firsts and the autos have had some surface issues that may come out. Best bros, you witnessed it live. What a nice hit, man. Oh, Floyd fan with another super. Thoughts on Butterfingers? Second to third best. For third, third to fourth best. Love Butterfingers. Love them. They get caught in your teeth, though. What is that noise? Is that on this music? I think that was on the mute. Sorry, that was weird. I thought I heard a guy talking and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Just a guy talking over the music. But yeah, love Butterfingers, Floyd fan. Chocolate and peanut butter, anything. Jeff says 16 of 20 super chats in the books, four more to go. Woo! 96, 116 people watching, 64 likes. Slap that like. We got two more boxes of tier one back here, so six more hits. We need all the luck we can get, the Maytan. Arizona up three to nothing over the Mets. Mets are in shambles. They need 
They need Thor to come back. Can we finish it off with an orange? I don't know. Luis Patino. And that's it. All right, we're going to need six stands. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have to take Paper Austin Martin down. Sonny Gray. I'm going to have to take him down, too. And then we'll get our six. There it is. Are you ready? Let's get the glare off of this fella. Tier one. Just, just the Clayton soak. Lindor still has a smile on his face. Yeah. Because you know what? If he didn't, people would be like, what are you frowning for, million dollar man? You know, it's like he's at that point where all he's got to do is just start hitting and he'll shut everybody up. But he's making errors too. So he's like one of the worst players in the league right now statistically through a, through a little over a month of baseball. Early. Still early though. Still early. Floyd fan says, I don't know if you heard, but my LCS got broken into over the weekend, lost 50K worth of product. Wow, that is horrible. But I'm sure they were insured, so they'll be just fine. But that's horrible. Hopefully they find the people that did it and send them to prison. Where'd my blockers go? Dude. What did I do with them? I just had them. Here they are. Okay. Upside down. Slidener. Gary Sheffield, I wasn't expecting to see you, especially for the Marlins. A Gary Sheffield Marlins hit. B Mac, great pull. Everybody loves Sheffield, right? Nobody's got a bad word to say about Sheffield, even though he came to the Tigers and was not good anymore when he came to the Tigers for some reason. And they just kept being like, look at how fast his swing is. Yeah, he struck out pretty quick there, didn't he? This is what I kept thinking. Sheffield. Lego card stands? I've got plenty of card stands. It's just a matter of how much room is on the screen, you know. Another guy with a bat in his hand. That looks like a Mariner's helmet. Could this be a kid? Oh, oh I don't know. I don't know. If it's got a mix of old, young superstars. Michael, but that looks like the old logo. It's either Kyle Lewis or... Evan White with the copper auto. 15 of 25. That is a beauty. It looks like is it gold ink. I don't know. It looks like copper, like a bronze ink. 15 of 25. Going to Michael. That's a nice hit. Evan White. The lowest numbered hit of the break so far. 15 of 25. Love it. Breakout autograph. The breakout auto. And here we go. The last one. It's going to be a relic of a cub. He's got gloves on. Is that going to be Sammy Sosa? No. Derek Lee. 
169 of 299. Derek Lee with a little Cubs pinstripe auto. Congratulations on that. Josh. A little 168. It's going to be time soon to get some more top loaders. That's going to be a bad day <laughs> for the bank account. One more box. Let's do the triple. The triple good luck soak. The Cy Young soak. All right, last pack. It's a crinkler. Gotcha. Leon, helping us finish strong with the 20. Let's go. Thank you. Big one. Guys are crushing it tonight. Let me cover this one up so you don't see. Leon, you the man. We gotta be close, right? We're almost there. To the 20. Last pack. Okay, here it is. Slide, Oops. sliding down. Minnesota Twin. I can't help but think Astudio. Kenta Maeda. 24 out of 300. On card auto. Going to Ernesto. Congratulations, Ernesto. Let's hope Maeda gets it on track. The twins are going to need him if they want to be good, if they want to make some noise. Right next to Derek Lee. Bohm is up to bat, ladies and gentlemen. The count is two to one. There's two outs. The opposing pitcher is Josh Tomlin. Is he going to do it? Manny, what's up? Our last auto. It's a New York Met. It looks like a modern, but they do a good job on Photoshop, so. Hmm. Is that Jimenez? Andres Jimenez. We've been seeing a lot of him lately. Andres Jimenez. Going to those Mets, Kyle K. Congratulations, Kyle. 299 of 300. What's the breakout autograph? And the last hit of the evening.
Is it Casey Mice? No. He's got some cool shades on. It's a Detroit Tiger. Wow, Jacoby Jones? Jacoby Jones. 389 of 399. Jacoby was available. Going to Mitch. And Jeff with the super. 18 of 20. Two left. We got two. Need a couple of little ones, guys, to complete the cycle. The 20 super chats. We're so close. Thank you, Jeff, for the super, and thank you for keeping track of all this. <laughs> Derek tried summoning the polar bear. It was a good effort. Solid effort. <laughs> They're just showing this guy. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me go back for a minute and show you what they're showing me. Like, nice beard, dude. So, so what? So he's got a luscious silver beard. All right, Evan, to 25. The lowest numbered hit out of that tier one stuff. Sheffield. The pleasant surprise going to the Marlins to 300. All these hits are numbered less than like 300, I think. Derek Lee Relic, little pinstripe number to 299. Maeda to 300. Jimenez. Oh, yeah, everybody's getting involved now. Finishing strong. Greenskeeper in. Robert H is in. And the Greenskeeper again. Thank you guys, we finished strong. Not only did we meet our goal, we exceeded it, which is what we do best around here. We exceed expectations. Thank you guys. Trent DeVoe, 126 of 250, the perp. Purple paper. Got a little speckle number here. Oswald. Jose Salas, Atomic. That's a pretty one. But the hit of the show, the hit of the break, the Sabato, 145 out of 150, the true blue first. If he ends up being good, you're talking big money, four figures, well into the four-figure range. And if he ends up being great, the sky's the limit. Mackenzie Gore to 50, the gold. And we got a Dustin May, just so we can remember him, to 344, that he'll be just fine. Solak to 300 on card auto. Mark Burley. I like the mix in Tier 1 of veterans and rookies. It's a good mix. David Peer Peterson. We ended up with a real one auto out of our Heritage box. Those are not guaranteed, my friends. Usually you get a stinky little relic. We got the real one. And look at this, out of that same box, the red chrome to 372. The red chromes look great. Good job on that heritage. Brent Rooker to 299. Looking like Kyle Tucker, isn't he? Sixto to 300. Trevor Bauer to 300. For the Reds. See how long in advance they have to do this stuff? And our autograph, Tyler Stevenson. From the DK and Sam Huff is our relic. So just comparing the hits, the FOTL looks like it, it's well worth the upgrade in price. Well worth it. I would recommend, if you're thinking about it and you're like, what do I get? I want to get a DK, or I want to get anything. I want to get any kind of baseball right now. Don't sleep on the Diamond King FOTL. If you want some low, maybe you'll get the lowest number to hit in your collection that way. The best, like the best hit, the best relic in your whole collection. You might come out of Diamond Kings. I don't know what your collection looks like, but I'm just saying, these things are like numbered to 10. 
And they're chunky relics. Hall of Fame stuff, too. You get a Babe Ruth, piece of a Babe Ruth bat or something in there. Good stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it was fun. We'll probably just crush some more next week like we always do. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all.